familiar names on. Uh, if you're in a place where you can click your uh, camera mute off and wave to Tommy and say hello and introduce yourself really quick, uh, we're going to get started. If you're moving around and you need to go no video again, even if you're having a bad hair day, jump on, say hello. It's nice to see the face of everybody that's joining us. Hi, Doug. How are you? Good to see you. Better than I deserve. I'm Jim's bodyguard. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's a tough job. <laughs> um, so welcome, everybody. We're excited you're here. And um, the intention of these sessions is really just to add value to our real estate community, to our business community, to the entrepreneurs out there, and do it in a way that is accessible to everybody and, and just help create some positive momentum in the world. Uh, I'm super grateful to be partnered with Tommy Clifford on this. Tommy's been a great uh, influence in my life as a resource, as a mentor, as somebody that I've learned a ton from. Uh, we're working together. He's helping us uh, build out our CRM and he's helping us build out our, our vision for marketing and contribution in the real estate industry. And uh, he's a wealth of experience, a wealth of knowledge. And I know you're going to learn a ton. And we're going to do a few more of these trainings. Uh, we're going to do a four week uh, segment here to start the year. So we're going to jump on every Monday. So just know at this time on Mondays, you can jump on and uh, we're going to cover some additional topics throughout the month so that you have an opportunity to take this knowledge, put it to work immediately, get some traction with it this week, and then come back and layer on the next bit of knowledge next week and continue to grow your business and brand. So does that sound good to everybody? We'll do some virtual high fives on that. And uh, with that, no further delay, let me introduce Tommy Clifford. Tommy, take it away. Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy. Uh, we're under a winter storm watch here in Appleton, Wisconsin. So it's going to get kind of fun and crazy here a little bit. I know the Phoenix folks don't understand what that means, <clears throat> but it's definitely going to be more than a broom. This is going to be more than a broom job. I had to get gas for the snowblower. Um Let's set the expectation today. Today, I'm taking a subset of a presentation that I did on short form video. This started on Friday. Uh, we were talking about social media and spending money on social media. And, and, I, and, I, and I had to put the stop sign up. I said, you know what? Let's optimize what we're doing for free before we start um, putting... Uh, putting our uh, money into, you know, a social media manager. Let's, let me show you how to do it. And let's take an, the opportunity to go kind of soup to nuts. Let's talk a little bit about short form video. Let's set the, set the, uh, the stage. Then what we're going to do is I'm actually going to film one here. We're going to, I'm going to, I got a topic in mind and we're going to film a, a short form video. And then I'm going to show you how to edit it using a piece of software called cap cut on my iphone i'm actually going to show you my iphone i'm going to show you the whole thing then i'm going to show you how to export it and to add some really cool captions we're going to have question and answer time there's always time for question and answer just make sure shane you keep your hands at 10 o'clock and two o'clock so if there's any issues i can tell the state trooper oh that's not what i want to see that he was on on the wheel at all times um and we're going to have some fun as always, please uh, take yourself off mute and ask questions at any time. I'm here for this. I've got nowhere to go and all day to get there. Um, but our finished product is going to be a video that's ready to uh, upload to to TikTok or to YouTube or to whatever your social media channel of, of choice is. Uh, at the end, I'm going to talk about automation and and some uh, a tool that I use to actually automate this process. <clears throat> and then, uh, then if you want to talk more, I'll have my uh, calendar at the at the end so that we can we can have a little press conference off offside on the side and and talk more. So let me just uh, share my screen here. I see a uh, oh, ask questions here. Yep, you can ask questions. Let me share my my screen and we'll go right into my little presentation here. Let's let's present, move this off the side here. Here we go. Um, I like using this slide. Let me make sure I can see. Can everybody see my screen? I think you can. 
Okay, let's go back to that other slide here because I really don't want to miss this one. This slide by Steve Jobs, I think, is one of the best ones. And it's basically telling us, you know what? The most powerful person in the world is a storyteller. Storyteller sets the vision, the values, and the agenda of an entire generation to come. And he was saying that when he was in talks with Walt Disney to buy, buy Pixar. And I think it's a fantastic uh, quote because really, you want to be, our ultimate goal is to be the smartest person in the room without telling people you're the smartest person in the room. You want, we all want to be thought leaders. The way we can be thought leaders is through telling stories. Boil that down into short form video. Okay. <clears throat> Why do I want to do short form video? As my good buddy Kyle Draper says, social proof. When somebody looks up your name, when someone says, hey, I want you to use my guy, they're going to immediately start to Google you and they want to see what you can do. There's no better way to build that than through short form video. You're, um, you know, when somebody says on Amazon, hey, I just bought this this iPhone case, I want you to use it. You're going to go to Amazon. You're immediately going to go through the reviews. You know, of course, Google reviews are important. We'll talk more about that at the, at the end. But short form video is also important. It's going to help you increase your exposure. It's going to help, you know, people get a feel for how you are, your mannerisms. Hey, I really like that guy. I don't like that guy. Whatever it happens to be, they're probably going to know more about you before you have your, you know, listing appointment or your, you know, you walk through the first home than they would otherwise. So short form video is going to be almost like your video introduction to, to those people. Okay. Short form video means a lot of things to a lot of different people. We just want to set the stage with platforms. Everything started with Snapchat. Snapchat had a 60 second video, then after 24 hours, that video went away. Then Facebook came up with stories. Stories last for 24 hours. Instagram has stories. Stories last for 24 hours. Then TikTok came. TikTok had <clears throat> longer than 24 hours. And then they also, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, created where the algorithm would, the, the, TikTok would, would show your video to more people than you had as followers. So to combat that, Facebook created Reels, Instagram created Reels, then YouTube created Shorts. Then of course, there's other short form video platforms. Twitter has a, has a video platform. LinkedIn allows you to upload video. Pinterest allows you to upload video. There's you know probably 10 or 15 other ones but this is what we want to focus on. And this is where, this is kind of where it all started. We're going to talk about for a second, the difference between posts and reels and stories and shorts. And we'll work that into, into our discussion. You know, posts are normal things that you would do on Facebook and they last for the entirety of, I mean, they don't go away unless you delete them. Stories expire 24 hours after you post them and they're created in 15 second chunks now stories are only available about people who follow you reels are public and reels are meant to build your audience if the initial group of people that sees your reel engage and like it then more people will like it then more people will see it I've had some reels. <clears throat> I mean, I don't have that many people following me on Facebook. I had a single reel go up to, I've had it, I've had it, um, it's it's well over 300,000 views for a reel. And that's not paying for views. This is complete organic views. Now, YouTube shorts is, shorts is a YouTube only term. And shorts are limited to 60 seconds in length, no longer. If it's longer than 60 seconds, it won't be a short. It'll be considered uh, YouTube's long form video. But shorts are awesome because YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. Of course, Google owns it. And 
The way you can be found is by, you know, building up your YouTube channel. And that's a really great thing. Okay, so we're going to pass through some things. I have six steps to short form success. The first step is doing a little bit of research. The second step is a hook. <clears throat> Third step is adding value. The fourth step is a call to action. Step five is hashtags. And step six, step six is responding. If you learn nothing today, you need to learn to respond to every comment. Because as soon as you do that, you're doubling the engagement on a post. Four comments becomes eight with your reply. And you want to reply in a way that makes them continue the discussion. You don't want them to go away. Because the more interaction you have, the more the algorithm will pick up on that. So replying to every comment is huge. If you pick up nothing, if that if this is all you get today, you've, uh, you've gotten a, a, a world's worth of great stuff. Okay, research. People want to know what to talk about. But Tommy, what do I talk about? What am I talking about? There's a really great website called answerthepublic.com. Oh, hey, I didn't want to do that. Answerthepublic.com is an amazing site that actually allows you to search and see what people are talking about. Let's go take a look at it right now here. So if I go and I click here and I say, I go to answerthepublic.com. Now, somebody in Zoom land, give me, uh, give me something that will that we want to talk about. So let's go and let's let me sign in here. Let's log in. It's free to use. It's free to log in. It's free to sign up. I don't want to fill this out now. Uh, looks like account signed in another device. I can do this. So let's search for uh, real estate, Wisconsin. Let's do a search. Okay. Now, the beautiful part about this is this is looking for real searches that have taken place here in your local area. And you can say, okay, let's look at what people are talking about. Wisconsin real estate rules, Wisconsin real estate laws. When are Wisconsin real estate taxes due? Oh, let's see. Wisconsin real estate companies were still... So this is a great, great tool to start finding questions that people might want. So let's go back and let's look at. Hey, Tommy, I'm just curious of all the people that are on with us live today, how many people were aware of that site before as a place to go source topics for content? You can type in the chat or raise your hand or wave or. And I don't want to dwell too much on this, but I want to also go, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and I'm going to show you something I bet you didn't realize. So everybody knows Google and Google's your friend. Whether you love yeah, them or hate them, Google's going to be your friend. So let's just do a search here for home inspections. Now, okay, as you, as you scroll down, you're going to see this thing called people also ask this is what this is real-time data what people are looking for what's the biggest red flag in a home inspection awesome 60 second topic what's the purpose of a home inspection another awesome 60 second topic who attends homes inspections in michigan interesting who but now if we click on this we can actually get as we start dropping down what are blue flags on a property what does a pink flag you know so you can start drilling down and you can start getting questions and google's going to tell you what people are looking for so when you say tommy i don't know what to talk about 
I'm going to go baloney. You do know what to talk about. You just haven't looked hard enough. You just hey, haven't. Tommy, yes. Can I ask a dumb question? No dumb questions. If anyone on here, do you think everyone has five questions that they always get asked in what they're doing? I'm sure there's the same five. Everybody probably gets asked the exact same five questions. Yeah, for sure. So I would How do start, I get pre-qualified? How does this happen? I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I would start with the five, the ten questions that everybody asks you. Start doing that as content. So that would be the quickest way to rapid fire. And then when you get down and you run out of that, go to, you know what I mean? Because everyone could probably list ten things that everyone says, and I wish they wouldn't say it. And then when they say it, you can say, hey, I got, it's on my YouTube channel. Here's my link. And then it can help you grow that YouTube channel. That's outstanding. Totally outstanding. So thank you for that. And I think what's important is a lot of people need to get out of their mind that, oh, that question is too dumb. That's too simple. Get that out of your mind. Because there's going to be people who have that very simple question, and you immediately look like a superhero for being able to answer that question. And, and, and there has to be, I know there's, you know, you're a mortgage guy. Well, credit score, credit score, credit score. You know, as a, as a real estate agent, you're going to have, you know, you know, this, this, you know, what's my buying power? They're, they're, you're right. There's probably 10, 15, 20 questions that you get asked over and over and over. You put your pen to paper and now those questions are perfect 60 second chunks of content for you to share. Totally perfect. Um, the next thing we want to do, so we've got kind of topics. The next thing we want to do is want to grab their attention. You've only got two or three seconds at the start of a video to grab their attention. <clears throat> Everybody has a story. Every property has a story. Every, um, As a real estate agent, every property in your town is your inventory. Every one of them, the cornerstone of this bank, the arch at this park, the pond, wherever it happens to be, everything, the water tower in downtown Gilbert, everybody, every place has a story and people want to know that. As If people start Googling downtown Gilbert, your water tower video may show up and you now become the smartest person in the room in a, in a super simple manner. But you want to make sure that you get a hook. Um, you know, this hack will save you. Why doesn't anybody talk about this? Why doesn't anyone talk about the 100 degree heat at three o'clock in the morning? Whatever it happens to be, you need to start out with a hook. Then you need to add value, tell them a story, solve a problem, give them pieces of information. Then you're going to have to have a call to action. Hey, my call to action, and I always end my videos, if you need help, I know a guy. That's my call to action. For you, it might be, hey, call me. If you need if you need help uh, navigating the real estate, uh, navigating real estate, please call Eric or call Tommy or call Jim. You want to make sure you leave with them uh, some sort of call to action that feels uh, that works for you. Remember, you need to be personable on here. This doesn't have to be perfect. This doesn't have to be um, as polished as you think. We're all humans. I was on a webinar this morning and some, some guy's kids came into the webinar and he just brought them up to the camera and said, hi, kids, and I'll, now leave. And I thought that was really great because he was human. He was personable. Um, and, and as you start doing this, there's going to be bumps, but it's going to get easier and better and smoother. I promise you it will. Um, we're, we're not going to dig too deep into hashtags. Don't, uh, as you get better and as you get, uh, as this becomes easier, hashtags will also come easier. But having a hashtag strategy can help people find. A hashtag is nothing more than a search engine. How can people find you? You're going to categorize this. You know, who's the video for? It's for, you know, real estate people, Gilbert, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. You know, what's it about? The Gilbert Water Tower. 
what problem are we solving? We're telling the story. We're showing the, we're telling the story. We're, we're teaching you about reviews, whatever it happens to be. Put those in there so people can help find your product. And I said this already, make sure to respond to every video. Your responses will double your engagement and it's, it's, it's Mac. It's, it's magical. It really is. Um, even respond to the negative comments. If someone took the time to be negative, respond to them. And if we want to talk later about how to handle negativity, I can certainly do that. Uh, you, know, you certainly want to get them away from their keyboard and get them on the phone, but respond to every comment. Okay, now we're getting close to the action portion of our show. We're going to be editing using two apps that I really love on my iPhone. CapCut is one of them. Captions is another. Now, CapCut is free. They do have a paid level, and I'm going to explain that to you. The, the, paid, um, uh, the, the paid version of it is well worth it. It's only like seven or eight bucks a month. Well, well worth it. Captions is not free. They have a free trial and it's seven or eight dollars a month. And I'm going to walk you through the entire process of using these uh, tools. OK, somebody just asked a question here. The peanut gallery just asked, can we get a copy of this PowerPoint slide? Yes, 100 percent. Massively. And this is massively beneficial. Yes. The PowerPoint slides, I think that's part of my ten thousand dollar a month coaching program. So you can get these slides as part of that. Um, Okay, I made that up. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do here is first we're going to actually film a video. We're going to make a video, and I'm going to do it exactly the way I... Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen here so you can see me in full glory, but I'm actually going to make a video. We're, we did this on Friday, and it worked out, um, worked out I thought, pretty well, Eric, and we're going to do it again. Um, Today's topic, because this is a high, high thing on my uh, on my list, is we're going to talk about Google Business Reviews. And I think that uh, that's another topic, Eric, that I even forget forgot about that. We could talk about Google Business Profiles, optimizing your Google Business Profile, add that to our list, because we're going to talk about that also. That'll um, be our bonus session. That is. That's bonus. That That's our bonus. But I'm going to do a video right now. Um, Using uh, using my iPhone, we're gonna we're gonna make the video. We're gonna edit it in CapCut. We're gonna I'm gonna actually share my screen so you're gonna see exactly what I do, uh, start to finish. Uh, we're gonna make the the video in a moment here. Um, I have a my video uh, creation my short form video creation strategy is this. I like to film it with one take. I let. Cap cut, take the pauses out, which is the big reason I pay for it. There's functionality that's actually going to take the pauses out of it. Um, you know, don't worry about microphones. Don't worry about, you know, the thing I would worry about is, is just be good light. You know, stand in front of a bay window at your house. Stand in front of the drive. Go out in the driveway. Um, I have a big bay window in my house, and I do all my videos there, uh, most of my videos there. It works great. If you want lighting suggestions, we can talk shop. I'm not here to sell you anything, but if you need lights, I got lights. You need you need microphones, I got microphones. But right now, this is just iPhone 15 and Tommy. That's all you're getting. You know, there's no there's no there's no special fluff here. But we're gonna talk about um, we're gonna talk about Google Business profiles and Google Business reviews and how's it's how it's important. The thing I like to do is I like to make sure to look at the camera, not at yourself on the screen. That's even hard for me. But I hold my, I what I do is I hold my phone up and I'll start talking. Okay. How and then I'll get to the, then I'll get to the end of, uh, I'll get to the end of a sentence and then I will switch so I can switch it up. So it looks like you're changing different places. Sometimes I'll go on a walk and I'll lean up against a telephone pole or a stop sign and I will talk to the camera and I'll do all the edits on my walk. So what we're going to do, this is going to be real time. This is going to be, uh, 
It's not going to be perfect, but I'm going to show you how I do it. It's going to be probably 45 or 50 seconds. I'm just going to video it here, just like we did on Friday. And then I'm going to share the screen and I'm going to go to here and we're going to edit this. We're going to edit this live. Everybody with me? Okay. First thing, don't introduce yourself. You don't have enough time to introduce yourself. People know who you are. They want to know the content you have. And our, I'm just saying that. Don't. I'm not going to introduce myself. So there we go. Okay. I'm going to. I'm going to start this thing. Every small business owner needs a Google Business Profile. But Tommy, why do I need a Google Business Profile? Okay. I'm just switching it up here. I'm going to move. You need a Google business profile because Google business reviews. The more reviews you get, the higher you get ranked. Well, that seems easy. I promise you it is easy. The more Google business reviews you get, the higher you rank. But Tommy, is it that simple? It's that dead simple. And if you need help, I know a guy. Okay, there you go. Video's done. Woo! That was hard. Okay. So video's done. Guys are pressuring me here. I sense all the pressure. No. So quick quick Thanks. survey. Type in the chat anybody that feels that they don't have the ability to do what Tommy just did. You're the best co-host ever. The best co-host ever. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to share. I appreciate that. I'm going to share my screen. Um, and then what I'm going to do is. <clears throat> I'm going to share. Right. Come on Ready? back. I'm going to share my phone here. Yeah. Can oh, everybody yeah. see? Yeah, yeah probably. Can you see my phone? We don't see it out there, so we don't want to know where the water is. I think our station. Zach, can you see my phone? Can you hear a second? Yeah, perfect, Tommy. Were you able to? Were you able to see the phone? Yeah, we can see it. Can you hit okay. mute all? We've got some people that have open mics. We're getting a little background noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me two Thanks. seconds. Two shakes here. Two shakes. Let's go here. Show my participants. Mute all. Okay. Everybody... And if you do have questions for anybody that's on, type them in the chat or you can unmute yourself in the. Keep. I tried muting Pete, but he keeps coming off mute. So, okay. Okay, hey, first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a piece of software called CapCut. Now, I pay for CapCut, and that's why it says Pro at the top. The hardest part about doing this is actually loading in the video. But what we're going to do is I'm going to click up here at the top. It says new project. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to load in that video that we just did. And I'm going to add it to my timeline. Now, the paid version of CapCut allows to, will actually find all the pauses automatically. And down at the bottom, I'm going to click on text. And I'm going to click on auto captions. A little dialog box comes up and says, okay, I want to identify filler words, which means it's going to identify the pauses. And it's going to go and it's going to find out where all the pauses are so I can get rid of all those pauses automatically. Okay. So it found 10 pauses. I'm going to delete all the pauses. Now I'm done. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to press play. Every small business. Okay. So I had a, I had a gap here at the front and I want to get rid of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the 
timeline here, I'm going to use at the bottom, it says split. Now I split that into two pieces. we we'll split over on the click on the left hand side there, 1.6 seconds, delete it. So now I'm just going to play this. Let's let's listen. Every small business owner needs a Google business profile. But Tommy, why do I need a Google business profile? I'm just switching it up here. I'm going to move. You need it didn't get rid of that because I was talking. If I wasn't talking, it would have gotten rid of that automatically. So I'm going to click on this, get rid of it. File. You need a Google business profile because Google business reviews. The more reviews you get, the higher you get ranked. Well, that seems easy. I promise you it is easy. The more Google business reviews you get, the higher you rank. But Tommy, is it that simple? It's that dead simple. And if you need help, I know a guy. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to clip off the end of this because I don't need that. What else I'm going to do is I'm going to go look at our text here, and I don't like the captions here. I don't like the way CapCut does their captions. You may like it, might fiddle with it. That's perfect. I don't like it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag them off the drag them off the page here. I'm going to listen to this one more time. Every small business owner needs a Google Business Profile. But Tommy, why do I need a Google business profile? You need a Google business profile because Google business reviews. The more reviews you get, the higher you get ranked. Well, that seems easy. I promise you it is easy. The more Google business reviews you get, the higher you rank. But Tommy, is it that simple? It's that dead simple. And if you need help, I know a guy. Okay, this is ready to export and take into our next parts of the show. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click the little up arrow at the top and it's now going to export it and save it to our camera roll. And now I'm done. I'm just going to come back here and just see how many people are. Okay, everybody with me still? Everybody see everybody with the process? Hey uh Tommy, this is Sarag. I actually have a question. Please. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm sure like everybody else, they're also on social media. So I see a lot of those short form videos with captions. Do you, when you said you don't like them, did you just meant the way you take video or in general, do captions actually like increase engagement? Okay. I apologize. I've done a bad job. I'm a bad human. You should <laughs> always have captions. 60 to 65% of everybody watches short form video without their sound on. I don't like the captions in CapCut. I don't like gotcha. the way they look. We're going to put captions on next. And I'm going to okay. show you. I just I just don't think they look sexy enough. And that's just me. No, I totally great, get it. Great, great question. And I apologize for that that confusion. But now, so were you able to, to see and hear that whole thing? Because this is the first time I've ever done it kind of live and in person with, with what we're doing. Yeah, that work, yeah, no. that work out okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we're going to go to, now we're going to go and we're going to go to a piece of software called Captions. And Captions is another, uh, they don't have a free plan. They have like a, a plan where you can like test it for, uh, I think like seven days, but this is also $7 a month. So for my short form video projects, I spend about $15 a month before automation. And we'll talk about automation in a minute. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, at the bottom here, I'm just gonna hit create. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna import it. Now, people are gonna say, well, why don't you use the cam camera function in captions or CapCut? That's a great question. I've always had syncing issues with my sound, my voice and my lips and it made me upset. So using the uh, the video app on my iPhone always seemed to work well. And okay, so that's why I don't do it that, that's why I do it that way. So every I, small business owner. So now I'm gonna load this video in, I'm gonna continue. You can, you can load in one, two, three, four, five, whatever you want. I'm just gonna load in. Every small business owner. Now what's happening is it's uploading the video to the cloud. And it's making sure it's transcribing it in real time. 
Every small business owner needs a Google business profile. Look at how cool those captions are. Way cooler, in my opinion. You can go and you can change the colors. You can actually change the style. Maybe you want to do something a little bit different. Maybe you want to do it like this. Let's see what it looks like. Google business profile. But Tommy, why do I need a Google business profile? You need a Google business profile because Google business reviews. The more reviews you get, the higher you get ranked. Well, that seems easy. I promise you it is easy. The more Google business reviews you get, the higher you rank. But Tommy, is it that simple? It's that dead simple. And if you need help, I know a guy. Every small... Okay, so simple, totally simple. Now what's cool is I can... Every small... I can click on on I can click on these. I can make them bigger. I can make them smaller. Whatever you want to do, you can do it right here in this interface. Now, another cool thing. I mean, this is ready to export and go. Some people like to add music below their video. This captions actually has AI generated music. So I can say I want to have lo-fi hip hop. I can generate the music track. It's remarkable what's going on in the palm of your hand. Okay, that's not what I That wasn't very fun. One last time. We're going to give it one last time. Let's do acoustic. Um, the, the During the Christmas season, you were able to do uh, some Christmas music here that was just awesome. Okay, so that's cool. Now what I like to do is I like to adjust the volume down a little bit because I don't want I want it to be underneath me. And now we hit play. All business owner needs a Google business profile. But Tommy, why do I need a Google business profile? You need a Google business profile because Google business... I turn the volume down too much. Business reviews. The more reviews I you get, like from, the really higher you the get ranked. I lo-fi hip-hop. I'm just going to delete the music. <laughs> but we're just going to go here. We're going to export this to my camera roll. Now, a little tip. I'm going to share with you a tip. And I'm actually going to post this today. This is actually going to go around the horn. We're going to post this thing. Uh, and this is actually going to get used. Now, on my camera roll, I have lots of videos. And it has a hard time keeping track of what videos I've posted and what videos I haven't. So what I do is I open up a video and I'm going to hit the, the little heart. You don't see it because the mirroring doesn't work, but oh, there you go. See, it has a little heart in the bottom. That's how I know I haven't posted it yet. And as soon as I post it, I'll take the heart off it and then I know it posted. So that's just a way I keep track of my videos. Okay, that was fast and that was furious. Let's take a um, let's take a few moments here, um, just to see how how that went. There's still more. Um, <clears throat> uh, now. Another thing that captions does, and it does really beautifully, is that if you happen to be on a, a busy street, there's a, you know, you're at an airport and there's 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 noises, there's a really great tool called denoise built into um captions that is pretty remarkable. I've taken some video on some busy streets, and now it doesn't make it seem like you're on a sound stage, but I promise you it makes it seem like a lot more professional. And the engine noises and some of the honks are even gone. It's pretty uh, spectacular. Yes, we'll give the recording to to anybody who who wants the recording. Um, I'm going to go back to my my slides here. Of course, questions are are available at any any time. But let me share my screen again. We'll go back to the slides and we'll. Um, Yeah, sorry about that. No, okay. <sighs> Share and present. 
present here. So cap cut and captions. Uh, these QR codes will take you right to be able to download them. Uh, the beautiful part about CapCut is that if you happen to be like a, an iPad user or they actually have a desktop client, you pay for it once and you can use it in all in lots of different environments. There's actually a PC version and an Android version of CapCut. Uh, there is no Android version. At the last time I looked, uh, Captions is iOS only, but they're working on a uh, CapCut. They're working on a version for uh, Android. Um, okay, couple tips. Don't introduce yourself. Don't waste your time. It's not necessary. Back to our previous questions, always use captions. You always want to have captions on there. I like to make them fun. You don't have to make it bougie, but people, over 60% of people are going to watch your short form video with the uh, sound off. So always have captions. Always, always, always. Um, cut out all the pauses. I showed you a simple uh, way of doing it. Uh, we can go more in depth at another time and I can walk you through the the, the way of, of scrubbing and deleting and scrubbing and deleting. But CapCut is, is free to play around with. There's hundreds of different videos on there. It's a great tool. Uh, I promise you, you can be up to speed in no time. If a old geezer like me can teach myself how to do it, you can also. Um, okay, so we, we did it. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is, okay, I created that short form video. How do I make it so I can create it once, upload many? And this is a really a, a, a big secret sauce. Right now, there's a tool called repurpose.io, and I pay for that also. And what happens is I upload, the, I'm going to upload that video to TikTok. It's automatically going to go to YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, LinkedIn, Facebook Reels, Twitter. Um, I upload it to my Google Drive. So I have a copy of every video, every short form video that I've ever uploaded. I upload it to Pinterest. Um, you can really put your... Uh, short form video game, supercharge it with one little, uh, one tool. You know, it's going to take you a couple hours to get this dialed in, but once it's dialed in, it just works. And it's amazing. Their support is amazing. I don't work for them. I don't get a cut of it, but repurpose.io is really a great, great tool that I highly, highly recommend. Okay, in the deck, I have some QR codes that take you to some different uh, different uh, places and people. Um, some of these Q here's some great people to follow on TikTok that are that really help help you along your journey. Uh, one of them, the Mother Hustler, she's a real estate agent in Maryland. Fantastic. You've heard of Glenda Baker. She's fantastic. Um, so just some reference material here. Yeah, just so everybody's clear too, if you drop your email in the chat now, Zach will make sure that you get a copy of this deck. So you'll be able to go back and scan all these QR codes, go yes. review all the information that Tommy shared, follow him through the process of actually making the video and the different technologies that he's bringing together to produce yes. that and then uh, have all the resources. And if you want to talk about automating this process, talk about automating um things in your workflow. This is things that Eric and I are working on. Let's talk. Just schedule some time with me. Hit me up. QR code makes it simple. You see my calendar, but I'm here. My Eric's got my information. You guys took time away from your families to, to come, you know, spend time together. I appreciate that. Um, now let's, let's have some, uh, let's have some question and answers. What are your what are your hot button items, things you're struggling with, and and how can I, how can I help? Tommy, let's. Uh, you and I have talked before about um, sound quality and audio. Yes. Uh, do you have a recommendation? You know, for shooting on the iPhone, 
Uh, we've talked about having a, a more current iPhone. Ideally, a 15 has the best camera. What about sound quality and what microphone or, or setup would you recommend for that? Okay, the sound quality of the of the iPhone is absolutely impeccable. It really is great. Um, there are some there's some people who are uh, and with and and with captions, the ability to actually take out the background noise is unbelievable. Uh, I mean, remarkable. Now, if you really want, if you want to spend money and you say to yourself, you know what, I want to do something and I want a, uh, I want a mic. There's a company called Neewer and they make, they're, they're big in the photo industry. They make some great LED lights. They make some great lights for photos and things of that nature. They make great tripods. <clears throat> this is an amazing, amazing little set of mics and what happens is this mic actually clips this clips on the iphone and this clips on your shirt and there's a little magnet in the back so you don't have to you don't even have to if you don't want to put it on something you can just put a magnet on it and <clears throat> so this clips onto the bottom of your of your iphone you using USB C. this is actually a battery case so everything is charged, ready to go. I have two mics. So you can have like a little podcast if you want. You clip your mic on your shirt. You, and then this goes on your iPhone or your Android, USB-C, lightning port, whatever you want. It even goes on your computer. And then I can walk 300 feet away and still be caught on mic. That's how remarkable this is. This is only like 120 bucks. It's by a company called Neewer. And it's really, really great. I didn't come here to hawk anybody else's stuff, but this has turned out to be a great little thing when you need it. I'm going to say 95% of the time, this is what you need. This is what you need. But if you happen to be at a show and you're going to say to yourself, okay, there's a lot of noise and I just want to isolate it, you know, give this... To your your podcast person do your conversation and then bam you're done um but i think as far as mics go what you've got in your i4 your iphone 13 14 or 15 is really amazing that's what i have to say i i would focus more on breaking down the barriers of your uh just doing it you know People have said it's the stop that starts you. Just do it. And don't post every one of them. Just start doing it. Feel comfortable in front of it. As soon as you become more comfortable, then you're going to want to post it. And I promise you, I am here to tell you that when people see your face and see what you've done, they, I promise you, they will, uh, you'll be top of mind with them. You will be. I mean, for instance, somebody's birthday, you know, saying happy birthday in a text message is wonderful. Sending somebody a video with captions on it, whole next level. Thanksgiving Day, I sent out about 40 videos that I just did on my phone. I and and Eric's smiling because I think he got one. He was on the he was on the list. And I promise you, every single one of these people. Minus one, because there was a death in the family, one per ever 39 out of 40 people got back to me. No better way of being top of mind than short form video. Eric, that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. That's a uh, that's a great story, Tommy. We appreciate you sharing. And what a reach. I mean, that's a powerful the response rate that you got is really, really powerful to using the video messages. So even if it's a new client, a new relationship, a thank you, a message of gratitude, any of those things, they really resonate with people uh, in a profound way. Uh, Zach dropped the link for the microphones that you were talking about. So they're available on Amazon, 129 bucks, like you mentioned. So the link for those uh, exact ones uh, are in the comments section. If anybody wants to click through to that and check them out. Nicole asked a great question too. Uh, is there a best time of day to posting the video and is there like a specific number of videos per day that you would recommend? Nicole, great question. Thank you for, for that. <clears throat> right now as a new starter, 
any time of day is a right time of day. Now, there's probably ways to optimize it, but right now, I don't think, when you're only putting one a day out there, I don't think it's going to make a whole heck of a lot of difference, to be perfectly honest with you. Now, when we're talking about the amount of videos a day, there's people who have been known to say, you should be uploading 10 to 15 pieces of content per day. Now, let's not go overboard. You're not going to go from zero to 15 in a day. But I really think that I would start doing one a day. And that's going to be hard. But it's going to be easy. It's going to get easier. I promise you. It's going to get easier and easier and easier. And you need to find time. You need a time block video creation. And you need to... Say, I'm going to do it at the office. I'm going to bring two or three different shirts. And I'm going to change my shirt. I'm going to do two or three. Then I'm going to change my shirt, do two or three more. And just rock them out. And then do exactly like I showed you. Put those videos on your uh, uh, on your camera roll and then heart them. And then you'll know, hey, those are the ones that have not yet gone out. And if I go to my, my uh, library here and I go to my favorites because the heart is what you favorite, I now have, I have probably 20 or 30 videos that I haven't posted yet that are just sitting there in the can waiting. And then there's a day I don't feel like making a video. Okay, there you go. We'll use one from the bank. Oh yeah, there you go. There's another one. I use one from the bank. And then I'll just upload. I'll just upload from my, from my savings bank. And then some days I'll make two or three and I won't use all two or three. Okay, I'll use one. Boom, the other two go in the bank. And because the, the content, as long as it's evergreen, I mean, you're not talking about, you know, the, you know the, the Packers eminent win of the Super Bowl. Okay, we'll see how many, I was seeing what kind of, uh, what kind of rotten apples I got thin at me for that one. Um, but you, I mean, if it's evergreen content, you obviously want to post it sooner than later. But most of your content will probably be evergreen, meaning you could post it anytime. Then you keep them in the bank. So Nicole, great question. I would start one time a day. I would post it when it feels comfortable and natural to you. I wouldn't worry about when to post. I would just worry about breaking down barriers and posting. That's what I would focus on. You're welcome, Nicole. Thank you for the great question. All right. Any other questions before we wrap up? This was awesome, Tommy. Thank you. You are very, very welcome, Eric. Thanks for the thanks for the opportunity, and I look forward to uh, next week's next. Yeah, week's for everybody that's on, uh, feel free to share this with people that you know, people that you'd like to add value to, people that you think you could help. Uh, invite a friend. That's the challenge. If you got value out of this this week, invite a friend. Come back next week. Uh, next week we're going to talk about Chat GPT. Chat GPT. And uh, so that's going to be a really productive session. You'll learn some tricks. You'll learn some tools. You'll learn how to deploy that effectively in your business so that you can actually take action and get traction. And that's the first two steps in getting results. So anything you'd like to say in wrapping up, Tommy? No, thank you, everybody. Thanks for the comments. Thanks. Uh, uh, thank you for this. We'll get the uh, recording and the uh, slides uh, to Zach and Zach will send them around the horn. I appreciate your guys' time and uh, and your consideration for the day. I hope you have a great, great Monday. Thank you, Tommy. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Make the most of this magnificent Monday and make it a great week. Peace. Thanks, Tommy. <clears throat>